Hi guys and welcome back to yet another side story video. We're gonna do preaching to the frog choir. Auditions are to be held for a new member of the fro frog choir just as rumors about a mystery singer with an incredibly be beautiful voice begin to circulate. And we are going to listen to the student's conversation. And it has something to do with Lottie, I think. Did you hear the... Uh, really, a spot open? Apparently a fifth year's failing transfiguration and got kicked out. Professor Blitwick is holding auditions to fill her spot. <laughs> you think you would go uh, go out for it? I was going to, but then I heard some incredible singer practicing in the greenhouse. <laughs> if that's my competition, then why bother? Huh? If this singer is as good as the Gryffindor says, then I ought to check them out. Yeah, you certainly should. Are they still here? What was that noise? <sighs> uh, yes, it was front page news, wasn't it? Hard to miss. No, it was a vision. A vision of not me here at Hogwarts. <laughs> My dear, I was talking about the ever-rising cost of dragon's blood. Oh yes, dreadful news that. <laughs> it was him who made that noise. Oh, my poor heart. Where has it gone? That sounds like singing. It's left me for a spell. I think it's coming from inside the greenhouse. Lottie, you are the mysterious singer. Hi. Tim Billy, you heard me singing Celestine Warwick just now. <laughs> yeah, you were brilliant. Oh. Brilliant. I don't know if I got that far. <laughs> well, I would. With a voice like that, you're shooing for that open spot on the frog choir. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wasn't planning to audition. Huh? Oh, I just assumed, given how much you seem to be enjoying yourself while singing just now, that you would want to. Oh. It's not that I don't want to, it's that I can't. <gasps> I've never been able to sing in front of anyone but my dad. Every time I try, my throat seems to well shut, and I can't get a single note out. Hmm. I wanted to join the frog choir ever since I watched them perform at the start of term banquet first year. Oh. Singing with friends and performing for the school sounds so fun. It's just not in the tarot cards for me. <laughs> well, not with that attitude. Uh... I appreciate your positivity, Timberly, but how can I possi possibly overcome anxiety I've been struggling with for years in just a few days? Mm. Ah. I'm honestly not sure, but I'm willing to give it a go if you are. <laughs> you don't have to go through this alone, Lottie. I will do whatever I can to help you overcome your fear. Mm -mm. So what do you say? Will you sign up for frog choir auditions? Uh, yes, but only if you promise to be there every step of the way. Mm -hmm. I promise. Now come on, I may not have any ex experience performing in front of a crowd, but I know someone who does. And who is that? Oh, the artist? That we met before? Maybe this is one of the new side quests. Yeah, it's him. Okay, cool. <gasps> That outfit, Lottie. Lottie, this is Cal. He's a street musician. Mm -hmm. He's used to playing to crowds. I reckon if anyone can help you overcome your fear of singing in public, it's him. <laughs> Got a bit of a stage fright, do you? Mm -mm. A bit is an understatement. I want to audition for the frog choir, but every time I try to sing in front of others, I feel like like you've been hit with a silencing charm. Like someone conjured butterflies in your stomach. Like your head's a, as light as a dirigible plum. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. How did you know? I used to feel the same way when I was first starting out. Uh, really? How did you get over it? Mm -hmm. I didn't. Not really. I still get nervous before performing. <laughs> but I learned how uh, how get my anxiety under control and how to cope with it. I can teach you if you're interested. Please. Okay. How is she gonna teach her then? Mm. Alright then, first ask yourself what you're truly afraid of. Is it really the performing in front of people part that scares you? Or do you fear embarrassing yourself, showing vulnerability or not delivering a perfect performance? Uh... Thought so. In that case, I want you to practice it, practice humility, <laughs> humiliating yourself. I'm sorry, I must have misheard you. I could have sworn you just said Lottie needs uh, to practice humility. Eating herself. <laughs> I did, and she does. Hmm. But isn't that the exact opposite of what you should be trying to do? 
You'd think so, but Lottie needs to learn that embarrassing herself isn't the end of the world. Huh? How do I do that? Well, since you're trying out for the frog choir, so why not take this opportunity to really walk a mile in your amphibian co-star's shoes? Or web feet, I suppose. Are you asking me to act like a toad? Right here, right now, in front of all of these people? <sighs> do you want to get over your fear or not? Mm. I will tell you what, why don't we all do it together? Got to practice what I preach after all. Uh... Well, Timberly. Mm -mm. Oh no, I'm sorry, Lodiba. Please, I feel much more comfortable doing it with you. Besides, you promised. Yeah. Uh, Alright, let's hop to it then. Literally. <laughs> I like how they have written MC as well. She's funny. Oh, in the middle of the street. Don't, uh, in the three rooms, we don't wear masks. Okay. That is what you said. Right. <laughs> no. Mally's beard, what are you doing? Oh god. What are we certainly doing? What's happened to that student over there? <laughs> Croak? That's odd. Mm. It's really odd that you... Uh, have you bugged through the ground or what has happened to you? Is it one more time? Well done. <laughs> now we're just dancing. It's a good training for us as well. One last hop and croak. <laughs> well, how do you feel? <sighs> Ridiculous. Like all Hogsmeade is looking and laughing at me. But surprisingly, I'm not as bothered by that as I thought I would. <laughs> good. The more comfortable you come with the idea of embarrassing yourself, the less you will be afraid of it. Mm -mm. But I still worry about messing up and disappointing the audience. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that people are always going to have opinions on your work. Better to focus on why you're performing for others in the first place than to worry about what they might think. I became a musician because I love making my audience feel something. It's a way for me to connect with others in a way I can't do with words alone. <gasps> what about you? Do you want to entertain, express yourself? Hmm. I suppose I want to perform for the same reason why I paint and draw. I love making people happy with my art. <laughs> if my singing can make someone stay, cheer them up or inspire them, that'd be incredible. Mm. Plus, singing has always been a way for me to feel closer to my dad. If I sing to others like I used to sing to him, perhaps it will feel like he's still here. <laughs> that was beautiful, Lottie. And exactly the sort of motivation that will give you the strength you need to perform. Mm. Look, I know it's hard to ignore the negative thoughts, but if you focus on the desire to make people happy and connect with your dad instead, it should help you tune it out. <laughs> Thank you, Cal. I think I'm ready to audition now. <laughs> You're welcome. Remember, what your audience wants out of your performance is imperfection. They want to be moved, to feel something. <sighs> Don't worry so much about hitting every note exactly. Focus on delivering the heart and emotion of the song and you will do great. I'll be performing in Hogsmeade a lot lately, so feel free to drop by if you want to listen to some music. Okay, cool. Interesting little side story. Enjoying it so far. Didn't know Lottie liked to sing. Oh god. Oh, I didn't mean to press ah. on the frogs. Ah, Miss Turner, you're just in time. You may begin whenever you're ready. <sighs> I'm not sure I can do this after all. <clears throat> Sure you can, you've got the talent, the passion, the motivation. Just take a deep breath and remember what Cal told you. Uh, I'm trying, but... <laughs> you can do this, Lottie, even if you doubt yourself. Not that I believe in you. Mm -hmm. And I will be right here to support you and share you on the entire time. Just like I promised. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Timberly. Alright, Professor, I'm ready. Um... Carry my soul into the night. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing seriously. <laughs> May the stars light my way, a glory in the sight, as darkness takes the day. Oh, am I acting silly? To help her. Ah. Well done, my dear, well done. A little shake at times and I could tell your nerves so we get into you. <laughs> It's been quite some time since I've heard someone sing with such emotion and passion. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm thrilled to offer you a spot on the frog choir. <laughs> well done, Lottie. 
Thank you, Professor Lidwick. I'm honored, but truth be told, I don't deserve all the praise. Mm -mm. I never would have had the courage to audition if not for Timberly. Well, <laughs> so thank you, Timberly. I may never get over my stage fright, but I will always have the strength to sing as long as you're in the audience. <laughs> oh. The thing about the quest in this game, they are so wholesome. I just enjoy it so much. It's like this short little quest of 10 minutes. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so that is all for today's video. Short but awesome. As I've said before. <laughs> short but nice. Uh, yeah. So if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see more content from me, I suggest you subscribe. And I hope we see each other for my next video. Bye, guys.